So today we are going to discuss about basic production practices of vegetable crops in Florida, especially focused on tomato and pepper. So first step is to fertilize. We are using this fertilizer spreader to spray the fertilizer and uh, sometimes we don't do that and we just inject the fertilizer to the drip irrigation system but today we are putting some fertilizer in the beginning and we're going to re put remaining fertilizer into the drip irrigation system later. So now we are going to fumigate and form the bed at the same time uh, we have this double row bed pressure and with the tank of metam potassium and the metam potassium is being injected to the mini culture beneath the bed pressure and uh, first pass is made with the fumigation forming the bed and second pass is being made just to stabilize the bed and provide the better shape and sometimes if we have additional herbicide spray we do uh, apply herbicide in the bed top uh, right after um, forming bed and below before laying plastic and now we are going to lay the plastic and put the drip tape in the vegetables we are going to do double drip tape because the wider bed top uh, I'm holding the drip tape in one side and he's going along the bed with tucking the plastic on the edges after he finishes the whole bed and the end of the bed he gets down and cuts his uh, drip tape and um, and plastic so that he can uh, go to the another bed and those plastic will be tucked later and uh, drip tape will be added to the main water line. So average uh, bed geometry of the vegetable crops includes uh, 80 centimeter bed center to center spacing with the 80 centimeter bed top width and 20 centimeter bed height. This is more uh, bigger than the regular strawberry beds. Uh, tomatoes are planted in the single row with 20, 60 centimeter plant spacing um, because of the wider root canopy. Uh, peppers are planted in the double row with uh, 40 centimeter uh, row spacing and uh, 30 centimeter plant to plant spacing. So then now we are going to punch the hole. Mm, so this is the double row hole puncture. This is for pepper. So we are making the holes uh, here right now. When you make the holes, you should make sure that you are not hitting the drip tape and breaking the drip tapes in the field. Tomatoes are planted in the single row. We are using the single row hole puncture here. So because tomatoes are uh, bigger plants than pepper, so we have to do them in a single row. So these are the healthy pepper transplant and this is the tomato transplants. So we produce them in our greenhouse a lot of times, but sometimes you can just purchase them from the companies that are focused on producing transplants. These are healthy looking, vigor, pepper and tomato transplants in the greenhouse. So this is the tomato transplant being manually transplanted in the single row. We just put them inside the hole and put the swirls around them to provide them support. And this is the double row of uh, paper transplant. So after transplant, we put the stakes. This is right after transplant in between the plants because they need kind of support. They are very big plants. Uh, and uh, as we live in Florida, the kind of windy situation, we kind of press them more deeper uh, so that they don't get blown away from the, in the windy situation and they provide support to the growing tomato plants. Pepper plants don't need uh, any kind of support. So this is healthy looking growing so tomato plants in the field. They have not, they are not uh, staked yet. Uh, this is like a tomato plant that are ready to be picked up. Uh, they are very, the growth, high growth stage. This is the pepper plant, a little bit bad situation just because of a lot of weed pressure. Like nuts is one of the biggest problem in our production system here. So we pick them manually uh, with the labor and we do two to three picks of tomato um, and uh, this is one of the situations where we had those bird eggs in the field. Uh, peppers are generally do one to two picks done manually like tomatoes and different colors but it doesn't mean they are different plants. It's, it just starts the green, turns yellow and turns to red. So different stages of pepper. That was basically all about summary production practices of tomato and paper in Florida. 
I think I forgot to mention about the production cycles. We have two production cycles here in Florida because of our nice uh, weather condition all year round. Our spring production cycle starts in January with fumigation. Transplant happens in February and harvesting happens around after two to three months in uh, May, June. Uh, for the fall season, we do fumigate in July, transplant in August and start harvesting around end of the October, November. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, you can comment below and please subscribe to the channel for more updates.